I have a $5 donation from Bobbert that says, I made 10 punny donations to see if any got read aloud. But no pun intended. Let's get a $5 donation train going with bad jokes. And I'm really here for that. <laughs> so get in your bad puns, especially if they have anything to do with bees. Big, big plus. And with that, we are all ready for our run. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it on over to Mr. Shasta with Pinobi Wings of Adventure. Any percent for the GBA. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, Pinobi Wings of Adventure, or I guess Pinobi Wings of Adventure. Pinobi Wings of Adventure, it's, it's a video game. Welcome to video games. I'm Mr. Ernest Shasta. With me, I have uh, Tay Raz on, on the mic. Hello. Hello. It's him. We're going to watch this terrible, horrible video game. Yeah, so first off, I want to point out to ma who is responsible for this game. So, uh, Artoon made it, who made Yoshi's Island DS and uh, uh, Blinks of Time Super 1 and 2 and Last Story and stuff on Wii. I should go over that again real quick. But also, the people who published this game were Activision, Hudson Soft, and you're not going to see it here, but on the PlayStation 1 version, which came out in 2002, apparently, uh, Konami published it, funnily enough. So yeah, a lot of people, a lot of big game companies at the time promoted this game for some reason. And I don't really know why, but yeah, well, I mean, I'm Hudson always, I'm the B icon. Song this game. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense for them at Literally least. Literally, Hudson's like, just for... like, B icon, B game, We're, that's us, let's do it. <laughs> but for like Activision, like Konami, like what they see in this game, I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't even know. <laughs> yeah, without further ado, I'm ready to go anytime, so I'll just kind of down. So, three, two, one, go. All right, so so starting off, uh, here's how you control the game. You go, uh, you press A, and then go right, and sometimes left, and that's about it. <laughs> you have this little, you have this little dash right here they can use. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Exactly. Lied, you have this game, dash actually. you can use, and... Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, just call me from off the block real quick. But yeah, anyways, you got this dash real quick that they're gonna use throughout the game. You might notice his head grows really large. This is what happens when you run out of a dash, which you'll see constantly throughout the run. So get used to it. Uh, it might be near nightmares, Empty. so I apologize for that. <laughs> right away, you get nothing. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's another thing as well, too, real quick. So uh, here's Cricket, by the way. Uh, he's he's gone. See you, Cricket. I'll see, I'll dead. see you around. Dead forever. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, so the fruit in this game, uh, they, they can give you either health, uh, flowers, okay, energy, or uh, uh, one of several types of cards. Which I got a pin card there, I guess, the heart. And if you get like a certain amount of, of cards throughout the entire run, you you uh you'll get something uh you'll get something for it, like either attack upgrade, dash upgrade, uh, defense upgrade, etc., etc. This is a, the blue fairy. Uh, she'll give you a dash. So and also you can actually hurt her. So you don't want to do that because you want the dash. It's two dash, so, better yeah. than one. Very Damage good. level just go. Exactly, exactly. At the energy level, we just want to go into these uh, these little portals here, I guess you want to call it. They're just skipping... Oh, what the heck? Okay, well, that works. <laughs> I was say, they're, they're just skipping and do they get past those bubbles there, but I've never, I've never seen that one before. So that's a good skip. I'll, good I'll say the, the GEQ catchphrase. Thank you. I'll say a GEQ, ca GEQ catchphrase real quick. That's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was right there. Is this giving you to yeah. skip that? Oh, I did it. Whoops. <laughs> Well, there you go. I made the skip live here in person. Dude, we got live routing. This guy's a god gamer. Can I get a Shas gamer in chat if anyone has that? Or just a pride vlog? That's, gamer a, in the that's chat. a B emote. We, got, we like those B emotes yeah, up pride in here. as well, too. I, I want everyone in this chat, by the way, to uh, if you have the pride B emotes from earlier this year, uh, please be free to spam that in chat the entire time. They are my, one of my favorite emotes in, in general on Twitch. Most bees are just good. Happy bee. <laughs> they, uh, they help nature out a lot. They're nice. <laughs> Happy bee. Yeah, uh, so here's another fairy right here. I usually hit this fairy in accident because she kind of pops up randomly, but so th thankfully I didn't right there. <laughs> thankfully, we're, we're good. All you do is just go to the end of the level. Yeah, this kind of, this game, you kind of have to just kind of feel around most of the time casually. Find out where next level, where that is and everything, and where, like, all the... Uh, Different dash for grading and stuff are. You just have to kind of get a feel for it. It's it's very strange. <laughs> this, this, this camera is also zoomed in really a, a lot too, which is really weird. Oh yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna give one warning real quick, by the way. So if, if I ever completes, if I ever completes uh, 
all the cards at any point in the, in the game. There's actually a screen that's like has a bunch of very uh, bright flashing lights that appears for like five seconds. I'll try and call it out if it ever happens. I'll just interrupt commentary at the time. But yeah, that, I'm obviously warning if that ever happens. I'll, I, hopefully that doesn't happen. Also, hopefully it does because it's hilarious. But hopefully it doesn't just for the sake of anyone who has epilepsy in the chat. But I'll call it what happens. It might not happen. It might it might happen. I don't know if it will. But because all the car, all, what, what cards you get are completely random. But I just want to put that out there real quick before it gets too far into this run. Bye, Cricket. Cricket. He's dead again. I didn't have to get him that time. Yeah, I didn't he, have to he, do that that time, but I, I, I decided to. Just kills him for the hell of it. Th this is the first boss of the game. It's just a big old spider. It drops bombs at you, which you can just hit back at it. It's actually the only bit of luck in the entire run is if he drops a bomb or some spike balls like this. He could just drop none if he wants to, but also, but no, most of the time that does not happen. Or my hit and it's dead, but inside the spike ball, cool. And there we go. Oh my god, he's so Hooray, good. Hooray, RNG. Oh, now we get Cricket, cricket the whole time. Yeah, we get him back, which we, uh, you know, we kind of been nice, not too nice to him, so I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised he, uh, I'm surprised he just decided to come along with us, you know? I'm very surprised, personally. <laughs> Number three. Number nine. Number three, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> the last thing you want in your Burger King burger, someone is else's foot fungus. <laughs> <laughs> that as it turns out, you might be what level? you get. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, go ahead and do that <laughs> real quick. Okay, so like, September of 2000, it was my birthday. I don't know, like, where this game came- this game just kind of manifested. I don't think any relatives or, like, schoolmates or anybody there, like, gave it to me. It just- it just appeared. Empty, Empty. by the way. <laughs> no luck. <laughs> like, it just, just anonymously manifested, and, and, like, for some reason I decided to play it, and then for some reason Shasta decided he wanted to play it more than one time and get good at the game. Yeah, so I actually enjoyed this game as a kid. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I actually enjoy this game as a kid, funnily enough. Most because the movement's actually really fun. It's just the game itself is, well, you're, you're looking at it right now. <laughs> it's it's certainly a thing that exists. Someone made it. Someone who actually made a bunch of other good games made it in particular. <laughs> it's very this, it's very strange. This game is one game mechanic, it's pretty good, and then it has nothing else, literally nothing else at all. <laughs> pretty much. So like most, so like Eleanor does nothing. This game B does nothing. This game, funny enough, the B button does nothing in a B game, but you know. <laughs> and uh, I actually press down sometimes to cancel, um, whenever I'm like floating in the air like this. If I ever do that in the run, I can actually press it down to cancel it, which I'll do later. Other than that, yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just fine. I'm just navigating my way through the game and trying to get to the end. And funny enough, uh, this level and the next one are the longest levels in the game. So if I'm getting to it, it ends right now. I think that was perfect time. Perfect. There are chat did not disappoint when I asked for puns. Let me tell you. Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, I have a twenty-five dollar <laughs> donation from Carvius that says these puns are serious business. Oh, I have. I love <laughs> I it. It hurts. Get love ready it. to say oh it a lot more. Um, I have a ten dollar donation from Murby that says where do they make fake hives at? The factor B. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. We're slowly killing it. Hundred dollars from Barry. I know, it it's only goes down from here, but up. Pay is not like puns. Pay is not approved. I've got $100 from Barry Kramer that says, Big fan of oh, GDQ. Big fan of Awful Block. Big fan of bees. Bees! Bees! My insides Thank are you, hurting. Barry. I'm a big Thank fan you, of work. Though. Thank you for the donation to charity. Do we have time for more? Yeah, go for it. Awesome. We have a ten dollar donation from Tiadra that says, "Bee pun here. Why do beekeepers make good beauty pageant judges?" What? Why is that? Because they say beauty is in the eye of the beeholder. Oh, I like that one a lot. I'm bleeding internally, but thank <laughs> you, you for the donation. <laughs> you, you, get you, get you get special water props for that one. You gain one oh, Shasta goodness, point. Goodness, Congratulations. One whole <laughs> Shasta point, you did. One whole Shasta point? Um, yes. We have $10 from Squoob that says, Did you hear about the quietly spoken down to earth bee? They were oh. a mumbling humble bumblebee. Oh, ooh, that's creative. <laughs> that was real good, right. real good. You, yeah, you, you, get, you get two Shasta points for that one. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, actually. I accept. That was real good, real good. Got time for a few more? 
Uh, yeah, we got, got, got like about 20 seconds to join this level, I think. All right, then we have got a 37.50 donation from Chaz ML. Amazed to see Pinnaby ran at GDQ. I remember playing this whole game back and forth several times as a teenager because I wanted to read all the different diary entries and collect both sets of items, and I still own it even now. So here's 10 cents for each time I apparently played a level. Save the frames, not the insects. Nice. nice. So someone else yeah, played this, this fun, game. Fun fact, by the way, about that. Yeah, let's go! I, don't, I can't believe it. <laughs> fun, fact about, some fa fun fact about this game, by the way, there's actually six different endings to it. There are four neutral endings, a best ending, and a, and a worst ending. Worst ending happens if you uh, hurt Cricket and, and the Fairy in every single level, which means you only have one dash for the entire game. It's actually really annoying. I've only have done one run of that, just for the record. But also, uh, best ending has you uh, completing, uh, uh, destroying one golden enemy in every level. Oh, we're, we're, okay, we're getting this, by the way. We're going up the the, uh, the flower fun tunnel thingy here. <laughs> the fun tunnel, we'll call it that, yes. But yeah, uh, so there's also best ending, which has you uh, defeat one golden enemy in every level, along with, uh, how was it? There's, there's certain objectives you have to hit in every level, too. Or at least in most levels, like, you have to like, hit a certain switch or sa save your friends at some points. Which, there's actually like multiple people like, you can usually just save in each level, but it only counts if you save one of them, so... I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, like, that's actually a pretty good run. I might consider that in the future if people like this run. <laughs> like, submit the age of the queue, I mean, but, yeah. Okay, there's one thing we need to it explain about this game as well. It also actually four which varies... Oh, go what ahead. Is it? Uh, no, finish your okay, thing yeah, first. There's, there's, there's a... Yeah, there's uh, four neutral endings in this game as well, too, and they vary depending on how, how uh, often you hurt your, hurt fairy or crickets. <laughs> so that, that's a thing, too. This, in this round, I'm getting one neutral ending, just for the record. Yeah, hey, Shasta, did you, fun fact about this game, did you know that th there's another port of this video game? There is. is it's it, actually on the, P the PS1. What year did that release, it by the way? It came out in 2002. <laughs> 2002, when the PS2 was already out. For like two years of that movie. I don't know why it exists. Yeah, it's been out for like two years at that point. I don't know why it was released on the PS2. It was, it's, I, I'm, I'm actually really curious about the history of this game because of stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, the thing is, the it looks exactly that, like this game. Also, the fact that it's also. Yeah, you say, go ahead. Also, also the fact that there's a Japan only. Yeah, sorry. There's also a Japan only <laughs> sequel to this game, by the way, called Pine Bee and Phoebe. It never got poured over or like released in America or anything. By the way, it's time to be sad in a second because Pine is not like water, so the music changes and it's all tragic and sad. Sad posting only in chats. Only all sad. Alright, no more sad posting. The music's back to normal. It's over. He's just back to normal. We're back. It's, it's fine. Yeah, the PS1 We're version good. looks exactly like this, but with like good sound for some reason. Like, it actually has decent soundtrack. This soundtrack is garbage. It hurts your earballs. Like, just destroys them. Did you say earballs? I said earballs. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what all humans the... have? I am a human. We're both humans after all. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't know what the planet Zognoid is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I like. I enjoy walking on my leg. <laughs> I have fun yes, watching. Yes, I stream. enjoy on my one single leg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this commentary is all over the place, and I'm a big fan of that. It's good off of block commentary. I'm giving myself a speedrunner pat in the Honestly, back right there. It really is. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're trying our best here. We're doing a we're bad job here in The meta is, com is talking about sphere and commentary and the quality of it during the commentary itself, by the way. That's a hallmark of good that stuff. That is the right meta. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of different stuff we can do in, each in these levels, by the way. Like, for instance, I think this level, you can, uh, you can like, plant a seed somewhere and it, it like, it grows something in, in, in another level somewhere else. It's kind of strange. Literally it's why? It's one of the best things, things you can do. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Best ending, okay. I really don't. I really don't know. Yeah, like, why it's, would it's you best do ending, that? But it's like, just for funsies. What else can you do in this game other than go, get to the exit after all? I mean, you can dash five Let's times in a row. You play this game before. What, what else can you do? I literally don't know what you do. I think I beat this game once. Like, you, you literally just dash. That's all you do. I was surprised when I beat it. I was like, That's oh, it's over. Okay. There's one more dash right there, by the way. Five dash. Ooh, we got the fun oh, stuff. Look at uh... that. There we go. Count with me. One, yeah, we got, two, we got five one, dashes now. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Get there. Wow, that's that's more than four. Do you see that? That is gameplay there right there. It is definitely gaming. I have gamed yeah. once or twice in my day, and I can confirm it gaming. That may or may not in I fact be gaming. I saw someone in chat ask, why do his head do that? It's because he run out of dashes, and it just does that for some reason. 
Don't ask questions otherwise. <laughs> no more questions. No, it's weird. No more Why questions. Why did Ted do that that time? Did he get hurt? I've never seen that one. Never seen the positive head buff. I, I think so. So this is this is a one one of the two bosses in this run. You'll see. Yes, yeah, so there is. This is the second of the two. All you have to do is uh, you'll do one attack, then we'll split apart into a bunch of mosquitoes, and then from there I have to just destroy four mosquitoes and do that over and over again. I can speed it up by like hitting the hitting the scissors there, for instance, or having the hammer hit this little platform above me. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting here for a little bit. Got uh, two more hits. Oh, yeah. Actually, one more now. Wait, I... two more? Two more? Hold on. Yeah, I missed a few. Okay, that was weird. All right, He's cool. Also Punisher cycle. Hooray! I'm going sobbing. fast. <laughs> it's, it's girl cricket. And we save. Uh, I think it's Phoebe. Is, is who that is? I want to say it's Phoebe? Phoebe, but that's not actually. Na it's not actually named the diary there after the levels. It's very weird. <laughs> it's just like I don't know who this is, but right, yeah, this we is did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We saved someone. She's no longer this, a sword of mosquitoes. The Kingdom, by the way. <laughs> No longer anymore. We have cuter of uh, I don't even mosquito know. Mosquito itis. <laughs> Something. Mosquito itis. Mosquito itis. Which is like a flavor of barbecue. I think I don't even know. Something. But yeah, this is Lazy Kingdom. We're kind of just moving around here, just going along these slides as we go. We'll get a fairy. Uh, we'll get. We'll, we'll run the blue fairy eventually. If we want to get another donation or two in, this is probably a good time. Sure thing, I have a $10 donation from Palomar6 that says, Happy Bee! I cannot believe you made a pearler for <laughs> Pinnaby's face, Shasta, and I can't believe I'm going to try to get it, but it's for a great charity, so it's all fine. I'm not sure I'm the one who made the pearler. That, that is uh, an RPG chick, aka at Neko My, uh, May May, I think is what it's called. My May? Uh, on Twitter. It's May May. She's for the one who made this run. Just to clarify. Maybe, I guess. I mean, we're playing yeah, a she's the one who made that. Right give her all the love. I commissioned that for this run, though. I'm very glad of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that that happened. By the way, so right here, uh, we're at, I got all six dashes that I can get here. That's actually the last dash you can get, because it allows me to go up to the very top of this level without having to go along these slides. It saves a good three. amount of time. A little bit of a skip, you know. Number three. Here's Cricket once again. See ya, nerd! <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Cricket. Sorry for all the three Cricket fans After out this, there. Sorry, Empty. sorry, Cricket fans. Uh, my apologies. Empty! Now after this, we're gonna go just to the very end. I'm going empty to jump twice. over one of the slides here in a second. Yeah, we got two empties! Runs blessed. We got the triple jump empty? jump over this little slide here, and then... Maybe? We'll see on the next level. Next level actually has uh, a trick that I discovered earlier this year, which Ooh. allows us to skip the, uh, the like half this level, but it's frame perfect, so hopefully I can get this quickly. Oh, that's easy. You got this. Can I get a first try? That'd be really cool. Right here, right here, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I got a first yeah! try, actually, let's go! <laughs> yeah! You did it! The triple empty, Normally, me too, yeah. <laughs> the triple empty, let's go! Run is blessed. I'm gonna go for this flower, even though I know it's, it loses me time. Not blessed, that, that okay. That deserves a pride pog in chat. That deserves all the pride Definitely pog Definitely a pride pog in chat, I agree. Oh. M to B, yes. Yo, type a B emoji in chat, I don't care which B emoji, any B emoji, do it. Any B emoji. Anyone. <laughs> so, so we're actually coming up to the last three levels of the, of the run, the Robot Factory. Uh, these levels are actually really tricky. There's a lot of... It's very weird about where, to, where you go here. And there's a lot of enemies and stuff that can hurt you. you gotta be very careful of them. But So I'm, I'm gonna also say this too. This game has... If you're on best ending, you actually get four more levels and a true an actual final boss. Right at the very end of the game. But this is just... We're getting one of the neutral endings, which has us not do that. It just ends the the game way early, like a little bit earlier than it should, I think. It's it's very strange. It is it's it's honestly really really strange. But yeah, uh, can I get down here? Yeah, there we go. Got a shield by the way right now. That's kind of cool. I'm getting I'm all these cards right now. I learned I'm earlier by the way because I was doing some practice on stream, and uh, I found out that the orange cards give you an extra dash, which might be useful for like a task or something. If anyone out there wants a task project, uh, this game does not have a task. So. <laughs> Feel free to do that if you if you so des if you so desire. For the shields random or fixed again? Uh, they're random. So randomly you just get like I'm invincible. It's... I don't care about this level anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
I forgot to mention it by the way too, but like there's there's uh, these crystals they see me collecting throughout the run. They're they're, they're actually the checkpoints. They're actually uh, a thing you're supposed to collect. Or like a thing you, you need to collect, but they're good they're good to have. They also fully heal you, so it's really nice to have that especially. But yeah, that's that's what that's why you see me collecting these like very weird, realistic looking crystals. <laughs> like that right there I just passed. I don't need that one though, it's a little short enough. Uh, hey, I have another fun Pino Bee fact. Do you know why it's called Pino Bee? Ooh, hit me with it. It's because this uh, game I'll, is I'll, actually... I'll, I'll tell it after the run. Oh, okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm okay. telling it after the run. Sorry, no facts yeah, yet. I, I, I'm saying that for the end. Not yet. Good, I didn't spoil, I'll spoil it yet. for you all. I'll spoil it for you all once, I hit t once we hit time in a second here. This is the very last level. This level normally has... You can actually, if you do best ending, this get, there actually is no waterfall here. You just go straight through it. Because, like, the water's drained in a, in a previous level, basically. This game has that sort of mechanic going on where it, that's a thing that happens there. Where, like, different levels affect what happens... Or different things in different levels affect what happens in layer levels and stuff. It's really cool. It's, not, it's, one, of, it's one of the compliments I'll give this game, is that it does something cool like that. It has two but mechanics, yeah. it turns out. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get up here. Shield to get, let's go. There we go. Gotta go over this waterfall here. Oops, there we go. And then I'm gonna fall to the very end here. Time is when uh, the dialogue comes up in a second. And that is time. Kindness, Kindness. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and she <laughs> just goes, Shia Kazing, and destroys you. It's so good. I love it. So yeah, if you get the best ending, there's actually four more levels after that. Where, uh, actually, I'll say, I'll say after they get to the ending here, but... Yeah, uh, so let me, let me, let me, let me read off the ending real quick here. Uh, so... September 25th, something fishy about a switch of sun in Lazy Kingdom. And the waste wire, they both reek of something. Hmm, things smell a little different here. Is this a place where robots can be changed into insects? Life as an insect. Couldn't beat all 13 golden enemies today. Couldn't beat them. After thinking about a lot of things, I concluded that I was never going to see Grandpa again. And decided to go home. <laughs> on the way back home, my fuel ran out. I sit here writing this diary on the last of my fuel. What will it become of me? That's will it become harsh. a pie bee? <laughs> what will it become of him? What, what's it going to be? <laughs> Check it out. Uh, he's a vampire bee! Ah! <laughs> what is oh, no. this game? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> but Grandpa, Grandpa B is please. still captured. <laughs> Have you seen the other endings? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna spoil it for you as well. If you, if you didn't hate this game already, uh, so this game is a... It's a ripoff of Pinocchio, which is why it's called uh, Pinobi. I always knew this a few months ago, by the way. So yeah, Pin uh, Pinobi is supposed to be like Pinocchio B. The blue fairy is supposed to be the fairy from a uh, blue fairy from uh, Pinocchio. Cricket's supposed to be Jiminy Crickets, and uh, the grandpa you're supposed to save is Geppetto. <laughs> and also, if you get the best thing of the game, you go in you get into four more levels, which has you go inside a, sh a giant shark instead of a giant whale. And you say, and at the end of it, you save your, you save your grandpa, aka Geppetto, and you become a real bee. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you might you might have seen uh, what is one of the streams you see at the very end of the game of Pine Bee being a real bee. I did that when I tweeted out that I was doing this run, by the way. <laughs> it's cursed. So it's yeah, cursed. If, you, if you want to see that, go you know, check out my Twitter real quick. It's just the same as my Twitch. But yeah, uh, this this was a video game. I'm glad I could have shared it all. I'm glad I could have shared it with y'all. This, I actually, I, I played this game growing up, so I'm a bit nostalgic for it <laughs> in, in a weird way. It's, good, it's cool to show this off, and as a fan of the Alpha Block and the Silly Block every GEQ, I, I, I'm usually one who, like, stays up all night at the events themselves to watch it, so it's cool to finally be a part of it like this, so thanks for having me, GEQ. I'll be back uh, on Friday morning with Warrior Land 4, which is my literal favorite game ever made, so I'm re also extremely excited to run that one. <laughs> you know, uh, stick around for that if you want to see that. For now, though, we have... Uh, what's up next again? I think uh, it's... Epic Dumpster Bear 2. He yeah, who yeah, bears yeah. wins he a race. He who bears wins. Yes. Go. <laughs> I don't even know what that run is, but please watch that run. It is probably amazing, just given the title. <laughs> just did a frame-perfect script for the, 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 the game. Everybody. 
I, I did. I did it. frame perfect trick during a mean game. Frame perfect. <laughs> I'm just excited right now. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you around. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. That. <laughs> I wish everyone could have seen my face as you were explaining that it was related to Pinocchio because... Oh. <laughs> all right, so we do have some more B puns because of course we do because you all pulled through so well. Thank you. <laughs> I have a $5 donation from Brandon that says this speedrun is unbelievable. Thank you so much for your donation. I have a $50 donation from DG Crab Hat that says, why can't the bee fly? That's it. That's the donation. I have no idea. Um, maybe we'll get a follow-up because now I, I really want to know why the bee can't fly. <laughs> I have a $25 donation from Funk Butler that says, is this game bad? Yeah, it's a sting -ker. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have a $25 donation from Goober Galore that says, some of these puns are so bad, they really sting, kid. I'll quit Paul in your leg. Thanks for being busy little bees with this amazing cause. Thank you so much for the donation. I, I, I'm so sorry. I have ten dollars from Kay that says, "Help me, help me, Obi Wan Penobi. You're my only hope." I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have five dollars from Behold, Doctor Bees, Phoebe. Behold, a friendly swarm of bees has arrived. Descend into hyper beings, share the honey, and enjoy the gameplay. I have five dollars from Neverwhere that says, I like my donations like I like my games. Covered in bees. Oh. <laughs> I have ten dollars from Azurasar that also says, help me Obi-Wan Penobi. I have $50 from Shalima that says, be gone, cancer. Thank you so much for your donation. I have $50 from Zero that says, greetings from Germany. Awful block never lets me down. Kill the animals, save the frames. Wait, wrong game. I have $5 from Calvi Berry that says this run is unbelievable. Thank you for everything everyone does to make this work. You are all wonderful and keeping me company while I pack. Thank you so much for your donation and good luck packing. I have $25 from Katernese. Oh! <laughs> That says, curse you sleep. Why must you creep up on me during the awful block? At least I'll have the VODs to uh, entertain you later. <laughs> and I asked for puns, so here's a fun pun one. I have $250 from Andurian that says, last night I dreamt I was a muffler. I woke up exhausted. <laughs> I always look forward to GDQs. Big love to everyone that makes that possible. Thank you so much for your donation and for that amazing joke. I have $50 from Lincoln that says, long time 